My goal for today is to design and develop and then even launch a new blog. So I want to share with you what is this blog, how we've decided uh, on which platform to build it and develop it, and then the whole process of me actually doing it. So let's start with what is this blog. Now we have a blog, actually a pretty successful blog for the new school, where we write um, content for freelancers, mainly designers, on how to run their freelance business. But lately, Lior, my partner, who is a super, super talented and creative writer, wants to write to a broader audience on subjects which are not only related to freelance, but more in general as to, you know, what's happening in the world today, the new opportunities, how to, you know, balance your, your work and life and the opportunities and personal uh, stuff that he's going through, you know, the challenges and stuff like that. So we kind of want to build a new brand, a new kind of platform to reach that new broader audience. And yesterday we brainstormed that, we actually came to the conclusion that we're going to call this um, blog Scared and Excited, which is kind of like how we feel and, and Leorin personally is kind of when he thinks about the future, about the world, he's like both scared because he's clueless about what's going to happen, but he's also excited about all the opportunities in it. So that's the blog, that's why we are launching it. And we had a huge debate about whether we should um, build it on WordPress or something else and our most favorite uh, option was Webflow that has a new CMS right now uh, and to launch the blog on Webflow. So the, the, the blog that we currently have for the new school um, which gets a lot of traffic is hosted on WordPress which is then hosted on Amazon and it, it actually took us you know a lot of time we work with IL or a developer to kind of make the design and when you guys mentioned in the comments that I can use some tools to kind of drag and drop my designs without a developer for WordPress, I guess it is a valid point, but at the end we chose to go with Webflow. And the reason is that it's, for me as a designer, it's much more simple and accessible to really work with a tool that I already know and then publish it without the help of any developer. Now, the reason that I'm not trying any of the other tools that you suggested for WordPress, which actually just thinking about installing right now WordPress on a new server, it's just, I don't wanna deal with it. And in Webflow, it's just so seamless for me. So it's true that there are design tools aiming at WordPress, but um, here's why I'm not gonna even try them. You know, here's my, my general philosophy as to how I brand myself and do sales is, you know, maybe you've heard me say this, it's based on, you know, know, like, and trust. So first of all, I need to know a solution. And the solution that you've suggested, I don't know them, so I have to start researching them and start thinking and comparing the features in this solution versus this solution. I don't trust any of them because I don't know them. I don't know if this kind of plugins or companies are gonna go out of business uh, tomorrow, or I don't know nothing about them. While Webflow, I've been working on it on a daily basis for you know two years now so I really trust it I know those guys you know I've met Brian the CTO I really trust it and excited about what's coming for them so eventually when my gut feeling tells me to try and do it on Webflow now I do admit that Webflow has some limitations uh, you can do everything that you can do on WordPress but I, I choose to think about it in kind of like the iPhone versus Android uh, situation or dilemma I'd rather have less features, but have it more, you know, do exactly what I needed to do simply than have all the features necessary, uh, but it's just so complicated to do it. And the Word, WordPress CMS can do almost anything, but then again, it's super sim uh, hard to do it. You have to, uh, you know, update it and put all the plugins and blah, blah, blah. And we, we do that with the WordPress, uh, with the new school blog that we have, but we don't really enjoy it. So we want to try something different and we're gonna try it on the Webflow um, CMS. See how that going. So I'm gonna start the design process right now. I'll start by looking at some other blogs for inspiration. Basically, I have to design a post page, a home page, and perhaps an about page about Lior. Um, let's go and start doing it right now. All right, 
right, so I'm about two hours in. I was pretty optimistic about doing this whole thing in a day, but right now I see it's a bit more complicated than what I thought. Spend a lot of time trying to get the, the layout to be kind of responsive like I wanted it. Um, and I want to make, I want to give this title, instead of an image, give it kind of an, a glitch effect. I don't know if you can really see this, uh, but with a CSS, so it will work on the, on the title and it will change with every post. If you've seen the new intro, you know I'm into the glitch effect right now. Uh, anyway, I've been messing with that for a little bit, so it's been taking me time and I gotta leave for a lunch meeting. So I'll head out and come back for the afternoon. All right, love meeting new designers, eating good food, time to get back to work. Okay, so it is the end of the day, I did not accomplish everything that I wanted to do today, but I have something that is lunch ready that can, you know, that Lior can start posting a uh, blog post on it. I want to share with you what I did, how I did it, and what I didn't get to do today, but I wanted to. So basically this is how a post page is going to look like. You have here, here you'll have kind of the glitch effect and you have the option to change the color uh, with each post to set a new color. Then you have the post, then you have some more posts and links to our projects, the new school and Prospero, and then sign up to a new mailing list. So basically this is like the most important page, the post page. Also I have kind of a home page, which is just says this, the name of the bot, a little bit about Lior and some more, uh, the same kind of a structure for the links. So. Basically, this is super, super simple. I still have lots of stuff to do. I want to create a new logo for this website. I want to do the glitch effect on the titles. I want to do an about page. I'm not super happy about how we present to New School and Prospero. I want to improve that. Um, I want to add comments and you know, what else. I need to connect it to MailChimp. But so there is some stuff that needs to be. Um, improved and I'm sure the will have feedback as well as to what doesn't look perfect right now but so again I'm not happy with this but we can start with this and again it was pretty easy to, to build it with Webflow um, I'll probably do another iteration or a new version for this uh, next week but hopefully Lior can start, by the time you watch this video, Lior can actually put new posts, uh, actual real posts in there, and I'll share the link with you so you can check it out. He's an awesome writer, you do wanna check out his blog. Anyway, I'm super tired, I'm gonna hang out with Noah and Tommy right now, call it a day. Hope you guys have a great day, I'll catch you tomorrow.